Okay, I know I've said in the last video that I will like remake the whole game in a month or something, but like if you believe that, like what is wrong with you? I don't know guys, I'm just addicted to remaking the game, but this stops now, because during this last month I realized that I just need to remake my game into an MMORPG, and you know I will. So the next year will be pretty interesting. Let me tell you more about how and why. So what I've realized when working on my new content architecture is that something has been missing from the game this whole time. It's like I was painting a picture, but there were only people and no background. Like something was missing to tie the whole thing together. Last year I made huge progress on gameplay, which culminated in people playing the game for a couple months. I realized a lot about what makes the game fun and how to manage this project better. But deep inside I always wanted to move past this kind of session experience where you open the game to play one, two or three runs and then close it. I don't know, I just imagine it being some sort of world that you can enter and interact with. But I never thought to actually try to implement the game this way, because making an MMORPG as a solo developer is kind of a meme. Well, I guess I shall become a living meme. But actually, what I realized is that making this game into an actual MMO wouldn't be that hard with the way it works right now and the technologies I use. Let me first explain what I even mean by an MMORPG. What I imagine is something like uh, the realm of the mad god. I never actually liked the game, same way I never really liked all the auto battlers. I'll just have to take what is good from there and make it way better. So after we turn into an MMORPG, all players will be able to travel around and explore the same world, where they would be able to see each other and interact. Since the game will be heavily generating new content constantly, this opens up a lot of opportunities to make something that no game really did before. What I imagine is a game a lot like Pokemon in open world, and where you never know what you will encounter and catch. So it will still be an auto battler and arena modes will stay, but additionally you'll explore the world and fight while you need to catch them to build your own team. And the coolest thing is that we can allow players to constantly create new units together that will then spawn in the world and people will be able to catch them, trade them, combine them and whatever else. I'm still figuring out the details, but when I thought about the game this way, it's like I've opened a dam and flood of ideas came onto me, as well as solution to some very old annoying problems. Now let me explain why it will not be that hard to implement actually, because I want more people to realize how cool SpacetimeDB is. Basically, biggest task in this all is to allow players to walk around the same world and be able to see each other. And with STDB it will be almost trivial to do, they even show something like that in their examples. Even though I've always used it for sort of turn-based gameplay, it can actually support real-time online games and was made with that in mind. The way it works is this, as a client I can subscribe to changes within any database table. My local copy of that table will constantly be synced to wherever changes on the server happen. And then all the world can actually be in a single table. Maybe it will be clustered in some subworlds, but anyway, all the clients will simply have a table with all the world data that they just have to display in some way. If I add anything to this table, all the clients will be synced and display newly created world object. I'm working really hard on making everything super easy to expand, because this would form a base for a lot of gameplay features and ideas. So soon after this video comes out, I will shut down the current version and again you'll have to let me cook for some time. I am super excited to work on the game and to realize this new version of it. So I'll be here streaming on YouTube basically every day until I'm done. I also plan to make a lot more videos next year. I want to explain and showcase a lot of things about the game, how it all works and how I came to certain ideas and solutions. My goal really is to make the best game in the world and I just can't stop until I see it this way. 
I just love that at this point I feel like it is gonna be a game that I would really want to play. Now I just have to bring it all into this reality. So thank you for watching and following me on this journey. Join my Discord to stay in touch, come say hi on my stream and subscribe to see my future videos. Have a good one and I'll see you later.